Now, during talks with his Australian counterpart, India's External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar has clarified that India will not be disclosing how it will vote at the United Nations General Assembly on an anticipated draft resolution to condemn Russia's self-proclaimed annexation of four regions in Ukraine. The General Assembly is due to vote on the draft resolution on Tuesday or Wednesday. As a matter of prudence and uh, policy, we don't predict our votes in advance. Uh, having said that, uh, you also know that uh, we have been very clearly uh, uh, against the conflict in Ukraine. We believe that this conflict does not serve the interests of anybody, uh, uh, neither the participants nor indeed of the international community. Uh, and uh, as a country of the global south, uh, we have been uh, seeing firsthand uh, how much it has impacted low-income countries, uh, the challenges that they are facing in terms of fuel and food and fertilizers. Now, Jay Shankar is currently in Canberra where he held wide-ranging talks with his Australian counterpart Penny Wong. These comments were made post the 13th India-Australia Foreign Minister's Framework Dialogue. During the meet, the war in Ukraine, its fallout and repercussions on the Indo-Pacific were discussed as well. And in his remarks, Dr. S. J. Shankar reiterated India's stance on the war in Ukraine, emphasizing that India was opposed to conflict and promoted dialogue and diplomacy. India's purchase of Russian oil and abstention on several occasions hasn't gone down too well with the West. And in his latest remarks, Jay Shankar has reaffirmed India's ties with Russia, saying that India will not abandon Russia, which has been a reliable ally. Jay Shankar said, and I'm quoting here, We have a long-standing relationship with Russia, and this relationship has served our interests as well. We have a substantial inventory of Soviet and Russian origin weapons. This inventory grew for various reasons, including the West not supplying weapons to India for decades and in fact seeing the military dictatorship next to us as preferred partner. In international politics, we make judgments which are reflective of our future interests and current situation. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.